Good morning. My name is Ben C. Pierre, and today we will be defending the pro side in today's debate. The topic is results. On balance, standardized testing is beneficial to K-12 education in the United States. U.S. students not competing with high-performance countries. Today, so far, too many U.S. students, the future labor force, are no longer competitive with students across the developed world. Our children, who come from arguably the greatest and most influential country in the world, are falling behind on the world stage. In mathematics, even our most advanced student would only be considered average in higher performing schools in this world. There is no way to demonstrate learning absent the test. People claim that standardized testing doesn't correlate directly to student learning. However, they have repeatedly failed to substantiate that claim. In addition, we need to measure student learning, and there is no other adequate and comprehensive way of measuring this learning as of yet. Thank you. Which means we oppose today's resolution. Today's resolution is resolved. On balance, standardized testing is beneficial to K-12 education in the United States. We believe that education should focus on creativity and fairness. Testing is not fair to those who have probably faced discrimination and we need to find other ways to better educate them. Our urban schools are in trouble because of concentrated poverty and racial segregation. But public education as such is not broken. The solutions proposed by the self-proclaimed reformers have not worked as promised. It is not the education system that we should be focusing on, but improving our urban communities, which face racial discrimination, higher employment, and poverty. Billions goes to private industry with no evidence. Testing is valuable. Are you saying that poverty and discrimination exist directly as a result of poor education? No, that is not what I'm saying. I am saying that you need to focus on the community, and when you focus on the community, then your schools will be able to do a lot better. May I ask you another question? <laughs> <laughs> Standardized testing allows us to track our students' progress. Are you saying that the money spent is more important than being able to track our students' progress? The money spent is not tracking progress. It's all about tracking. It's all about putting money towards the materials. But how are you tracking creativity? How can your test uh, track that? The con side said in their first argument that poverty and segregation are the cause of education problems in the United States. We disagree because testing and reporting are critical to ensure minority students receive adequate educations. 19 groups, including the NAACP and the Children's Defense Fund, recently released a statement backing the laws core testing requirements. ESEA must continue to require high quality annual statewide assessments for students in grade three through eight at least once in high school. Therefore, we are countering the systemic discrimination that was inherent in the education system by implementing standardized testing. Standardized testing allows us to help our students and children grow into their full potential. It also allows us to address weaknesses that can become handicaps to their future. If you think about it, standardized testing is a major part of our workforce. So if our children are struggling with standardized testing, that is a weakness. The pro side said in their first argument that the United States is lagging behind high performance countries. We disagree because standardized testing doesn't evaluate social and creative skills which are key to competition. Zao 2013. Jobs that require routine procedure skills 
and are increasingly automated. Traditional neglected talents including design, story, symphony, empathy, play, and meaning will become more valuable. Economist Florida notes that increasing importance of creativity in the modern economy. What we need in society is not robots or automated students, but we need critical thinkers, students that can think outside the box. Judge, this debate centers on resolution, a result, on balance. Standardized testing is beneficial to K-12 education in the United States. Again, we all support the resolution, even the concept. First, I will attack their arguments, then prove our own. The con side says that creative, teach, creative thinking cannot coexist peacefully with standardized testing. They're wrong. If you follow the trend of standardized testing and what it promotes, a direct result of standardized testing is critical thinking. That same critical thinking has allowed us to create even more outlets for creativity. What do I mean? Somebody who took a standardized test came up with an idea and said, I know what a film is, I know what a video is. What if I could put it somewhere where everybody could watch my videos? YouTube was born. What if somebody could look at my pictures? Instagram was born. What if I could share my thoughts and feelings with the world in 140 characters? First of all, they need to know what a character was. That's a standard. They had to know what letters were. That's a standard. And these characters had to match in different languages. Different languages, different standards. But the point is, Twitter wouldn't exist if the person who invented it didn't have some type of standard. All of these are outlets for creative output and they continue to be pushed every day by other people who have benefited from standardized testing. I'll give you even more examples of this. As Americans, we had reduced our standardized testing, the rigor of it. And that's what we started losing in other economic and creative factors. Michael Jackson. How could he dance if he couldn't count the beats to music? Counting music is a standard. Again, you can't paint the Sistine Chapel if you don't know your colors. And lastly, to connect the benefits of standardized testing with creative output. How we gonna pay? <laughs> this year's rent, last year's rent, next year's rent. We need standardized testing to continue the creative outputs that we have. It all connects and shows how beneficial standardized testing really is in the U.S. for grades K through 12. Thank you. This debate centers on the result. On balance, standardized testing is beneficial to K through 12 education in the United States. Again, we do not support the resolution. First, I will attack their arguments and then continue to prove ours. The framework for this round is that education should be fair to all students and support creativity. Now throughout the entire debate, the pro has been trying to convince you that supporting their resolution is right because standardized testing is the only way to ensure that the United States remains a major player in the global economy. China's economy is declining as we speak. Can we make the assumption that their economy is declining because of low test scores? Was it test scores that um, Build out the automotive industry? No, it was money. The impact in our case are equality and critical thinking skills. Standardized testing can never test creative ability. Tests given to unequal communities are never going to be comprehensive indicators of student development. Judge, vote for the con side.